Assalamu alaikum. Uh, so today in this class we are going to start the second chapter from your geography that is globe, latitudes and uh, longitudes. So already you have an idea about what is a globe, latitude and longitude because you have already studied it in your fifth standard also. In this uh, chapter we will be going little bit detailed into longitude and uh, latitude. So first of all I will introduce you what is a globe. So what is a globe? I know like uh, you people have studied it already. It is a true model of Earth. Earth is a true model of globe. And uh, we have also studied about the demerits of gold uh, globe also. Like what is the demerits of globe? That is we cannot carry it to another places. It will be very heavy. We will be able to do it. That is another demerit of our And And now we will study what is latitude okay so all parallel circles from the equator up to the poles are called parallels of latitude so what are parallels of latitude parallel circles from the equator up to the poles namde equator le thodangi pole vere ulla idu po njan endana idu oru 2d aanu 2d figure aanu appo idu nammal correct eduthale namde earth pole idu ingane chuttu alle varunu adu kondana endanu parayunnathu they are Parallel circles and it's starting from the equator towards the north pole. We have the equator towards the north pole. North pole is the pole and the south pole is the And these imaginary lines are called latitudes. All the lines that we are studying for our convenience are imaginary lines. We have real eye to the earth and these lines. Illa. So these all are imaginary lines and the imaginary line that we can see in the middle of the earth is known as equator. Namla gaana na imaginary line, middle light namla gaana na, lengi namla globe in the middle light gaana na, ee oru line ne anandhu nuvara innadhu, idu, idu ella menda anu latitudes anu. So, a imaginary line, first namla middle light gaana na imaginary line anandhu equator that is zero degree. Yathre anu? Zero degree. And this equator divides the earth into two equal half. In the end, we have the earth in a equal half height divide. So, the parallels of latitude. What are parallels of latitude? All parallel circles from equator up to the poles are called the parallels of latitude. And the zero degree equator, which is the imaginary line that we see in the center of the globe, divides the earth into Two equal halves. And the inno earth in a equal half height divide chayino. Now we will study about the important latitudes. So after the equator, equator and megalodi can on the irikum, they are considered as north and below it is considered as south. So whenever we will write anything, any latitudes above the equator, we will write it with the initial n. In the N letter and N letter means north and below the equator we write it as yes and S letter means south okay so uh, above the equator we will study first first one is tropic of cancer that is 23 and half degree north after that comes the arctic circle this is 66 and half degree north and after that north pole that is 90 degree and if we'll come below the equator, the first one is Tropic of Capricorn, that is 23 and half degree south. After that comes the Antarctic Circle, that is 66 and half degree south. And then comes the South Pole. Either one and the either South Pole, either North Pole. Okay. So what are the important latitudes? The first one is equator. Then above the equator, we can find Tropic of Cancer, 23 and half degree north. Arctic Circle 66 and half degree north and North Pole 90 degree north. Then Tropic of Capricorn 23 and half degree south. Antarctic Circle 66 and half degree south and South Pole. Okay. And next, heat zones of the earth. For that, we have to understand the rays, how the rays of the sun is falling on the earth. Okay. 
so these two sounds like a tropic of cancer and a tropic of capricorn okay tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn they are known as torrid zone what they are called torrid zone and arctic circle okay so they are called torrid zone which are called torrid zone the uh, zones between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn is known as the torrid zone and the mid day sun is exactly overhead at least once a year on all latitudes between tropic of cancer which means like a tropic of cancer see this is the sun imagine this is the sun so the sun's direct rays will fall in these regions right and the heat experienced will be high and these two like arctic circle towards the antarctic circle these two region they are known as the temperate zones and how the rays will be it will be little slanting rays right so like this it will go so they will experience a moderate climate and therikum oru baadu choodu aayirikkilla engil oru baadu thanuppu aagathilla so these two areas are called the temperate zones and after that comes the north pole this area frigid zone what they are called frigid zone and how the rays will be it will be going on like this right so almost all the rays will go wasted see how the rays are going so it is going much above the horizon nammada ivda idana adinte oru point ennu parayunnu adum kazhinjana adinte megalilotta aanu endu cheynathu rays povunnathu and so they experience a very cold climate endana oru cold climate aanu avar experience cheyunnathu so today's class we have studied about longitudes and what are the important longitudes what are the important longitudes uh, equator and above equator comes tropic of cancer 23 and 1/2 degree north arctic circle 66 and 1/2 degree north and north pole below will come tropic of capricorn 23 and 1/2 degree south antarctic circle 66 and 1/2 degree south and south pole and then we have understood like the zone in between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn is known as the torrid zone so torrid zone it will be getting the direct rays of the sun and they experience heat hot too much okay and after that comes the uh, zone of antarctic circle and arctic circle that is 66 and 1/2 degree north and 66 half degree south they are the rays will be slanting engane irikkum korch slanting aanu ithreyum alla pakshe engane aanu korch slanting rays alle idhe pole so they experience a moderate climate then comes the frigid zone that is north pole and south pole all the rays are going above the horizon and they are horizon and kazhinju povana so and so they experience a cold climate so that's it for today thank you